安，安。Beside me now, an old man, blind and foolish. My father, back from the dead, to be with me, as if he hadn't died. No. Simply back from the dead to be with me in this strange place. Can he hear me? Yes, he must hear me. To answer me? No, he doesn't answer me. Just be with me. That sound you hear is the sea. I say that sound you hear is the sea. We are sitting on the strand. I mention it because the sound is so strange, so unlike the sound of the sea. But if you didn't see what it was, you wouldn't know what it was. Train it to mark time. Shoes with steel and tied up in the yard. Have it stamp all day. A ten-ton mammoth back from the dead. Shoes with steel and have it tramp the world down. Listen to it. Listen to the light now. You always loved light, long past noon, and all the shore and shadow, and the sea out as far as the island. You would never live this side of the bay. You want the sun on the water for that evening bathe you took once too often. But when I got your money, I moved across. As perhaps you may know, we never found your body, you know. That held a probate and a constable time. They said there was nothing to prove you hadn't run away from his all and alive and well under a false name in Venezuela, for example. That grieved mother greatly. I'm not sure on that. Can't stay away from it. But I never go in. No. I think the last time I went in was with you. Just be near it. Today it's calm. But I often hear it above in the house and walking the roads and start talking. Oh, just loud enough to drown it. Nobody notices. Well, I'd be talking now, no matter where I was. I once went to Switzerland to get away from the cursed thing. I never stopped all the time I was there. I used to need anyone, just to myself. Stories. There was a great one about an old fellow called Bolton. 
I never finished it. I never finished any of them. I never finished anything. Everything always went on forever. Bolton. Bolton! There, before the fire. Before the fire, with all the shutters. No! Hangings, hangings, all the hangings drawn, and the light, no light, only the light of the fire, sitting there in the, no, oh, standing, standing, standing there on the hearth rug in the dark before the fire, with his arms on the chimney piece and his head on his arms, standing there waiting in the dark before the fire in his old red dressing gown, and no sound in the house of any kind. Only the sound of the fire. Standing there in his old red dressing gown might go on fire any minute, like when he was a child. No. That was his pyjamas. Standing there, waiting in the dark, no light, only the light of the fire, and no sound of any kind. Only the fire. An old man... In great trouble. A ring then at the door, and over he goes to the window and looks out between the hangings. Fine old chap, very big and strong. Bright winter's night, snow everywhere, bitter cold, white world, cedar boughs bending under load. And then as the arm goes up to ring again, recognizes. All the way. Yes, Holloway. Recognizes Holloway goes down and opens. Outside, all still, not a sound. Dog's chain, maybe, or a bow groaning. Have you stood there listening long enough? White world. All away with his little black bag, not a sound, but a cold, full moon, small and white, crooked trail of Holloway's colossus, vegan and the liar, very green. Vega and the liar, very green. Following conversation then on the step. No, in the room. Back in the room. Following conversation then back in the room. All the way. My dear Bowden, it is now past midnight. If you would be good enough. Gets no further. Bowden. Please. Please. Dead silence then. Not a sound. Only the fire. All cold, burning down now, all away on the hearth rug. Bolton. Where's Bolton? No light, only the fire. Bolton at the window, his back to the hangings, holding them apart with his hand, looking out. White world, even the spire, white to the vein, most unusual. Silence in the house. Not a sound, only the fire. No flames now, embers. Embers. Shifting, lapsing, furtive light, dreadful sound. All away on the rug, fine old chap, six foot, burly, legs apart, hand behind his back, holding up the tails of his old MacFarlane. Goes another window, grand old figure in his old red dressing gown, back against the hangings, hand stretched out, widening the chink, looking out, white world, great trouble, not a sound, only the embers, sound of dying, dying glow, all away, Bolton, 
Bolton, Holloway, old men, great trouble, white world, out of sound. Listen to it. Close your eyes and listen to it. What would you think it was? A drip! A drip! Again! No! Father. Stories, stories, years and years of stories, till the need came on me for someone to be with me, anyone, a stranger, to talk to. Imagine he hears me. Years of that. And then now, for someone who knew me in the old days, anyone to be with me. Imagine he hears me. What I am now. No good either. Not there either. Try again. White world. Not a sound. Holloway. Holloway says he'll go. Damn if he'll wake up all night before a black grate doesn't understand. Call a man out, an old friend in a cold in the dark. An old friend, urgent need, bring the bag. Then not a word, no explanation, no heat, no light. Bolton. Please. Please. All the way, no refreshment, no welcome, chill to the medulla, catch his death, can't understand it. Strange treatment, old friend, says he'll go, doesn't move. Not a sound. Fire died. White beam from window. Ghastly scene. Wishes to God he hadn't come. No good. Fire out. Bitter cold. Great trouble. White world. Not a sound. No good. No good. No good. Can't do it. Listen to it. Father. You wouldn't know me now. You'd be sorry you ever had me. But you had that already. A washout. That's the last I heard from you. A washout. Are you coming for a dip? No. Come on, come on! No. Glare. Stump to door. Turn. Glare. A washout. That's all you are. A washout. Again. Slam life shut like that. Washout. Is she had? Never met Ada, did you? Or did you? I can't remember. No matter. No one would know her now. I turned her against me, do you think? Child, I suppose. Or a little creature. But we never had her. I used to walk with her in the fields. That was awful. She wouldn't let go of my hand and I managed to talk. Run along now, Addie, and look at the lambs. No, Papa. Go on, now, go on. No, Papa. Go on with you now when you're told and look at the lambs. <laughs> 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 
Ada, too. Conversation with her. That's what something. That's what hell would be like. A small chat to the babbling of Leesley about the good old days when we wished we were dead. Price of margarine 50 years ago. And now. Price of blue band now. Father. Tired of talking to you. That was always the way. Walk all over the mountains with you, talking and talking, and then suddenly mum and home in misery and not a word to a soul for weeks. Better off dead. Better off dead. Ada. Ada! Yes. Have you been there long? Some little time. Why do you stop? Do not mind me. Do you want me to go away? Where is Addie? With her music, Master. Are you going to answer me today? You should not be sitting on the cold stones. They are bad for your growths. Raise yourself up till I slip my shawl under you. Is that better? No comparison. No comparison. Are you going to sit down beside me? Yes. Like that? Or do you prefer like that? You do not care. Chilly enough, I imagine. I hope you put on your jagers. Did you put on your jagers, Henry? What happened was this. I put them on, and then I took them off, and then I put them on again, and then I took them off again, and then I took them on again. Have you them on now? I don't know. Who's? Who's? Again? Did you hear them? Not well. Galloping? No. Could a horse mark time? I am not sure that I know what you mean. Can't the horse be trained to stand still and mark time with its four legs? Oh, the ones I used to fancy you all did. <laughs> Laugh, Henry, it is not every day I crack a joke. Laugh, Henry, do that for me. You wish me to laugh? You laughed so charmingly once. I think that is what first attracted me to you. That and your smile. Come on, it will be like old times. Uh, uh. Perhaps I should begin with the smile. Uh. Did that attract you? And now I'll try again. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Any of the old charm there? Oh, Henry. Listen to it. Lips and claws. Get away from it. Where it couldn't get at me. Sibet, what? Calm yourself. And I live on the brink of it. Why? 
professional obligations. Ah. Reasons of health. Ah. Family ties. <laughs> A woman. <laughs> Some old grave I cannot tear myself away from. Listen to it. What is it like? It is like an old sound I used to hear. It is like another time in the same place. It was rough. The spray came flying over us. Strange it should have been rough then, and calm now. Let us get up and go. Go where? And Addie, she would be very distressed if she came and found you had gone without her. What do you suppose is keeping her? <laughs> Well, I play my piece now, please. She must play the piano. She must learn. She shall learn. That and riding. Now, miss. Elbows in, miss. Hands down, miss. Now, miss. Back straight, miss. Knees in, miss. No, no, miss. Tommy in, miss. Chin up, miss. Now, miss. Eyes front, miss. miss. What are you thinking of? I was never taught until it was too late. All my life I regretted it. What was your strong point, I forget? Oh... Geometry, I suppose. Plain and solid. First plain, then solid. Why do you get up? I thought I might try and get as far as the water's edge. And back. Stretch my old bones. Well, why don't you? Don't stand there thinking about it. Don't stand there staring. Don't wet your good boots. Don't. Don't. Don't! Don't! Darling! Don't! Darling!
Do not stand there gaping. Sit down. On the shore. Are you afraid we might touch? Henry? Yes? You should see a doctor about your talking. It is worse. What must it be like for Addie? Do you know what she said to me once when she was still quite small? She said, Mommy, why does Daddy keep on talking all the time? She heard you in the lavatory. I did not know what to say. Daddy, Addie. I told you to tell her I was praying. Roaring prayers at God and his saints. It is very bad for the child. It is silly to say it keeps you from hearing it. It does not keep you from hearing it. And even if it does, you should not be hearing it. There must be something wrong with your brain. That? I shouldn't be hearing that? I do not think you are hearing it. And if you are, what is wrong with it? It is a lovely, peaceful, gentle, soothing sound. Why do you hate it? And if you hate it, why do you not keep away from it? Why are you always coming down here? Why are you always coming down here? There is something wrong with your brain. You ought to see Holloway. He is alive still, is he not? Sons! I want sons! Like this! Stone! 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 That's life. Not this sucking. And why life? Why life, Henry? Is there anyone about? Not a living soul. I thought as much. When we longed to have it to ourselves, there was always someone. Now that it does not matter, the place is deserted. Yes, you were always very sensitive to being seen in gallant conversation. The least feather of smoke on the horizon, and you adjusted your dress and became immersed to the Manchester Guardian. The hole is still there, after all these years. The hole is still there. What hole? The earth is full of holes. Where we did it at last for the first time. Oh, yes. I think I remember. The place has not changed. Oh, yes, it has. I can see it. There is a leveling going on. What age is she now? I have lost count of time. Twelve? Thirteen? Fourteen? I really could not tell you, Henry. It took us a long time to have her. Years we kept hemming her away. But we did it in the end. We had her in the end. Listen to it. It's not so bad when you get out on it. Perhaps I should have gone into the Merchant Navy. It is only on the surface, you know. Underneath, all is as quiet as the grave. Not a sound. All day, all night, not a sound. Now I walk about with a gramophone, but I forgot it today. There is no sense in that. There is no sense in trying to drown it. See Holloway. Let us go for a row. A row? 
And Addie, she would be very distressed if she came and found you had gone for a row without her. Who were you with just now? Before you spoke to me? I was trying to be with my father. Oh. No difficulty about that. I mean, I was trying to get him to be with me. You seem a little cruder than usual today, Ada. I was asking him if he'd ever met you. I couldn't remember. Well? He doesn't answer anymore. I suppose you have worn him out. You wore him out living, and now you are wearing him out dead. The time comes when one simply cannot speak to you anymore. The time will come when no one will speak to you at all. Not even complete strangers. You will be quite alone with your voice. There will be no other voice in the world but yours. Do you hear me? I can't remember if he met you. You know he met me. No, Ada, I don't know. I'm sorry. I've forgotten almost everything connected with you. You were not there. Just your mother and sister. I had called to fetch you as arranged. We were to go bathing together. Go on, go on! Why do people always stop in the middle of what they are saying? None of them knew where you were. Your bed had not been slept in. They were all shouting at one another. Your sister said she would throw herself off the cliff. Finally, your father got up and went out, slamming the door. I left soon afterwards and passed him on the road. He did not see me. He was sitting on a rock looking out to sea. I never forgot his posture. And yet it was quite a common one. You used to have it sometimes. Perhaps just the stillness, as if he had been turned to stone. I could never make it out. Keep on, keep on. Keep it going, Ada. Every syllable is a second gained. That is all, I am afraid. Go on now with your father or your stories or whatever you were doing. Do not mind me any more. I can't. I can't do it any more. You were doing it a moment ago before you spoke to me. I can't do it any more now. Yes. You know what I mean. There are attitudes remain in one's mind for reasons that are clear. A carriage of a head, for example, bowed when one would have thought it should be lifted and vice versa. Or a hand suspended in midair as if left behind, that kind of thing. One knows where one is. But with your father sitting on the rock that day, nothing of the sort, no detail you could put your finger on and say, how very peculiar. No, I could never make it out, perhaps, as I said, just the great stillness of the whole body as if all the breath had left. Is this rubbish? I help to you, Henry. I can try and go on a little, if you wish. No? Then I think I shall be getting back. Not yet. You needn't speak. Just listen. Not even. Be with me. Peter. Peter. Christ. Hooves. Hooves. Christ. Left soon afterwards. 
passed you on the road, didn't see her looking out to... Can't have been looking out to see. Unless you had gone around to the other side. Had you gone round the cliff side? Rather! Must have, I suppose. Stands watching you a moment, then on down path to tram, up on open top, and sits down in front. Sits down in front. S suddenly feels uneasy and gets down again. Conductor, change your mind, miss. Goes back up path, no sign of you. Very unhappy and uneasy. Hangs round a bit, not a soul about. Cold wind coming in off sea. Goes down path and takes tram home. Takes tram home. Christ. My dear Bolton, if it's an injection you want, Bolton, let down your trousers and I'll give you one. I have a pan hysterectomy at nine. Meaning, of course, the anesthetic. Fire out, bitter cold, white world, great trouble. Not a sound. Bolton starts playing with the curtain. No, hanging. Difficult to describe. Draws it back. No. Kind of gathers it towards him. And the moon comes flooding in. Then lets it fall back. Heavy velvet affair and pitch black in the room, then towards him again, white, black, white, black, all away. Stop that for the love of God, Bolton. Do you want to finish me? Black, white, black, white, maddening thing. Then he suddenly strikes a match. Bolton does. Lights a candle. Catches it up above his head. Walks over and looks Holloway full in the eye. Not a word. Just the look. The old blue eye. Very glassy. Lids worn thin. Lashes gone. Whole thing swimming and the candle shaking over his head. Tears. <laughs> Good God, no! Not a word. Just the look, the old blue eye, all the way. If you want to shot, say so, and let me get the hell out of here. We've had this before, Bolton. Don't ask me to go through it again. Bolton, please. Please. Please, all the way. Candle shaking and guttering all over the place. Lower now, old arm tired. Takes it in the other hand and holds it high again. That's it. 
That was always it. Night and the embers cold and the glim shaking in your old fist saying, Please, please. Begging of the poor. Ada. Father. Christ. Holds it high again. Naughty world. Fixes Holloway. Eyes drowned. Won't ask again. Just the look. Holloway covers his face. Not a sound. White world, bitter cold, ghastly scene, old men, great trouble, no good. No good. On. Little book. This evening. Nothing this evening. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Plumber at nine. Then nothing. Plumber at nine? Ah, yes. The waste. What? Saturday, nothing. Sunday, Sunday, nothing all day. Nothing, all day nothing. All day, all night, nothing. Not a sound. 